So, my name is Jamie Spring. Uh, I've been teaching here at Sycamore for 31 years. Uh, two years before that, I was in Tulare, so 33 altogether. Uh, I currently teach uh, sixth and seventh grade math. Um, I've taught everything here except for art, and I will never teach that. Um, when I first met you at my dad's house, you would walk down because I think you had a frozen pipe or a crack in your well. And I remember coming outside and I remember going down to your house and, and seeing that. And if you had told me then that I was going to meet the person that was going to have the impact on my dad's school and my school where I went to school, the kind of impact that, you know, those that that group of professionals had, uh, I would I would have been truly impressed. Um, you know, I think back to all the things that you've done. I think back to the staff development days where we sat down and tried to figure out how to use Math Blaster and math games. Computer lab turned into keyboarding. Uh, coaching, impacting kids. Uh, Pico Fermi Bago. Uh, the, the whatever the starts with an R name that I can't think of right now. The games with the colors. Uh, you always had a, a, a great perspective at looking at things. You always had a, a phenomenal way of connecting with kids. Um, I wish and I hope that when my career is over, I, I have students look back on me the same way that I know that they're going to look back on you. Uh, things that I, I'm going to hold against you. I, I, I don't have a zero. You've got the zero. I'm frustrated by that. All I have is, let's put an arrow at the end of the graph. It doesn't seem as significant. Uh, I'm never going to get the Mr. Roberts yell. And, and you did, and, and that's special. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I appreciate all the years. Uh, I, know what it, I know what this job takes, and I know what this job demands of people that do it well. And I have appreciated every moment that I walk into school, and you're my next door neighbor. Probably the highlight of my career is just starting this piano lab, which we began maybe six, seven years ago, and being able to see the kids go from uh, uh, never playing before to actually performing music. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. Any uh, any stories you'd like to tell us about? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't. No, I don't really have any stories. How about your coaching career? Um, well, coached for 31 years. Um, Probably, you know, I think I figured I've coached over a hundred or a thousand basketball games. Um, everything from third grade recreation league to uh, varsity at high school and uh, enjoyed coaching here more than anywhere else. So, What's the highlight of your coaching? Oh, gosh. Um, there have been so many, you know, so many close games, so many buzzer beaters. Um, you know, there's been five, six times when, you know, a half-court shot won the game. And it's just really rare, but it's always exciting when that happens. So. And I, I can't say that I've had that happen against me. Maybe, maybe once, but I can't think of any times. <laughs> Mr. Spring, I want to personally thank you for everything you have taught me and what you have done for my family for the students who have ever walked down to Sycamore School and all the colleagues that have ever entered your life. You always put students first. You are one of the most hard, hardest working teachers I have ever worked with. You ran intramurals during lunch for I don't know how long and was always the students highlight of the day when they got together in the gym for competition and to build camaraderie. Your athletes love playing for you. They always play with their heart because you teach them more than the game. Speaking of sports, I always like to give fun facts to people and let them know that you played competitive water polo and you're a very strong swimmer. Besides being an amazing teacher and athlete, Mr. Spring is so musically talented and I enjoyed being a student here and now as his colleague, watching him and the teacher band play in front of the school during rallies. They were so good. And then to watch him play with his sons was pretty special too. I am so appreciative that I got to witness you bring the keyboarding class to our school. What you have done with the class and with the students is absolutely amazing. I love seeing all the students put on the headphones and work their magic on that keyboard.
I loved hearing them at our staff meetings and during our assemblies. You truly are an amazing person. Mr. Spring, you are one of the funniest teachers I've had the pleasure of getting to know in the staff lounge. I always enjoy reminiscing memories of Bob's passionate fist uh, pumps to the table, the Martha-isms, teachers playing cards, and talks of ditto paper. I look forward to many more memories we can share. Thanks, Mr. Spring.